Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend or next 24 hours star reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what's coming towards you guys, okay? What is the message for Sagittarius? What can I get for Sagittarius, please? What is the message for Sagittarius, please? Weekend reading. Next 24 hours reading. What can I get in love, relationship, dating, getting to know? What can I get for career, finance? In general situationship, this is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Thank you guys for being here. Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? Here you go. What's coming towards you, Sagittarius? You've got the Eight of Swords. I feel like there's a gray area, you know, Eight of Swords. I feel like you're involved in a situation where... There's a lot of gray area, okay? Eight of Swords. Indecision, indecisive, okay? <sighs> okay. You know, I've been really seeing this one, guys. You know, like the heart, um, the heart thing. There's something about, there's a message, um, Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, I feel like there is a message that is about, there's a message that you would receive, okay? Um, let's see this Page of Cups. Yeah, Three of Cups. So, I would say that there is a very friendly, uh, good vibe, loving message. It's it's a good message. It's a message, okay? Um, this person feels very special to you. However, you have a lot of, I would say, unfinished business or unfinished conversation or like you haven't really finalized, you haven't finalized a lot of details. You haven't really finalized what really is you want and what they want. There is no closure between the two of you. So there's a lot of gray area. I mean, page of cups, three of cups. Is this person just being friendly or are they you know is this romantic or they're just being friendly okay because eight of swords page of cups of cups, okay maybe they're just being friendly maybe they want to be romantic so you are you are back and forth sagittarius like when this message comes along you are like do i treat this as a romantic or is it just casual hi hello you know um it could also be a friend, you know, three of cups, like what they want from you. You know, why message me? Page of cups, three of cups. Yeah, will of fortune. Hmm. So, what do they want from me? It's an initial message, but you're overthinking. I feel like this is you, Sagittarius, eight of swords. There's a message, it's friendly, it's sweet. And the will of fortune, I feel like it's a good vibe. But you're treating it as a... You're receiving the message and you're overthinking. You're interpreting the message between good or bad. You know, like you're back and forth in a thought, in a feeling. You're very defensive. You're also overthinking. Yeah, yeah you're very confused. Eight of Swords, Moon card, like, what do they want? Why now? You know, it's... It's a person, it's a situation where you're really giving it like, no, it's it's closed. What do you want from me now? Like you're, you keep reminding yourself that it's gone, it's closed. It's, it could also be a friend long distance or someone who is, I don't know, there's something around the month of March, October, October, November, and March of this year. And they want to hang out. Like, they want to see you in person. You know? I mean, 
you can overthink Sagittarius. You can overthink, but the only way to find out what they want from you is to connect. Yeah. Because you're overthinking and you're also scared to connect because you might fall in love or you might be too vulnerable that they might hurt you again or do they deserve your attention? Yeah, temperance card. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to reply, to respond. They're really, really manifesting that you would respond. You would reply. They want a positive news. They want a positive connection. They want they want to really get the, the most positive energy, share the most positive energy to you. Like they don't want to make a mistake. Whoever this person is, I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to fight. I don't want to quarrel. I just really want to connect, Sagittarius. You're defensive and they're aware of that. Like this person is aware that you guys are in a very fragile stage so they will never do something to disappoint you they will never this message is coming from whatever you give me sagittarius i will take it there they this person is aware that you you guys are in a very very sensitive or time sensitive or fragile or there's something that's already broken that they can never fix with one message it will take more than that but for them, what's important is you, you guys connect. Like it's important you guys keep in touch or connect. That's what they want. Yeah, seven of wands. There's some part of your relationship or connection that's broken. It cannot be fixed by one conversation or two conversation or one date. Or, you know, it would take a bit of time. And they are aware of that. But the first step is the most difficult. And this is the first step. And they're willing to, I would say, look into what can I do? I know we have a long way to explore, to understand, maybe to forgive. Whatever it is that you and this person have in the future, what's important for them is we stay connected. You know? Yeah, King of Pentacles. This person is willing to connect, willing to listen, willing to spend time. King of Pentacles. They're committed to take whatever you're going to give them. If you give them a breadcrumbs, that's fine. For as long as we're connected, you're not mad. I'm not mad. We're connected. You don't block me. I don't block you. Then I will always be next to you. I will be close to you. Like, let's not hate each other. That's the vibe I'm getting in here. Let's stay friends. Let's stay connected. Let's see. Let's look at this reading in a romantic way. Why do you want to stay connected with you? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm, this jump. So, in a romantic way, they want to heal the relationship. They want to track the progress of the relationship and connection. And that will only happen if you stay connected, if you text, if you call. Two of Wands. Wow. Oh my God, Sagittarius. I mean, this person is bleeding. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they're bleeding. Yeah. Like, they're very, very hurt and bleeding and crying for giving up on you romantically. But they need to put off a tough face and accept that maybe you're dating, maybe you have a new relationship, maybe you're no longer interested. They need to accept that. And they need to be next to you. Just in case you're free, I'm still here. Even though I'm bleeding, I want to be here. I want to keep track on you. Sagittarius. Whoa. Now, let's look at this person or situation. If they're friends or platonic relationship, what they want from you. What, why do you want to connect with you? They, get, they have a mission. Whoever it is, it's more... They won't force you, but they have a mission to keep you, to keep track on you. Okay. 
Five of Swords, the King of Wands. If it's a platonic relationship, it could be a friend, um, someone at work. Uh, they have, a, they would, I would say they would benefit something from you if they stay connected. King of Wands, Five of Swords. Although this person, if this is romantic, this is not romantic, platonic relationship. Um, Five of Swords, the thing is, they feel like King of Wands, Five of Swords, they will benefit from you. That's why they want to stay connected with you. Maybe you get along. Maybe if they're bored, they want to watch a movie, they call you. If they want to hang out, they call you. I don't know, but there's a lot of fire and passion between the two of you. But I don't see, I don't feel any depth from this person. Because there's a Five of Swords in here. Whether this is, I mean, this is platonic, this is romantic. Whoever this is, one thing is for sure, they want to keep you. They want to keep you. They want to keep track or keep you in their life. That's why they want to keep connect. That's why they want to stay connected. That's yeah, that's pretty much it. They're staying connected because they want to keep you. They care about you. They want you to be part of their life. Okay, let's see what else is coming towards you, Sagittarius. Oh, you've got the Knight of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles, a Six of Swords. You know, um, I'm hearing the song, Will You Still Love Me Again? If I got luck away, will you still love me again? Will you still love me again? That song. I will, in the comment, I will put or pin the title of the song. There's a song. Let me just Google it for you guys because I don't want to be LSS, you know. I'm hearing the song. Uh, what's that? Will you still love me again? Will you still love me again? Okay, wait. Who is this? If I got luck away, will you still love me again? If I got luck away. Okay. So the title is Locked Away. If I got luck away and we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws, if I could be strong, tell me honestly, will you still love me the same? All I want is somebody real who don't need much. A girl I know that I can trust to be. Yeah, this is the song I'm hearing. If I got luck away and we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws, if I could be strong, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same, this person? It's definitely an ex. It's coming towards you. I feel like it's next week. It's coming two energies. They're thinking about like this weekend, this person is going to present two offers before you move on before you leave Sagittarius I want to ask you if you are willing to take me back again if you're not I respect you if yes will you still love me again yeah it's next week there is a Uranus and something is going on a destructor energy at the end of this month end of july month and yeah this is one of those energy it's connected to love there's a trigger in here this person will trigger you something so be very very smart on how you react this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity think very very carefully of how you will respond to this person let's see yeah queen of wands and i'm seeing four 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 I feel like you will be flattered. It's a compliment. But of course, you know, 
you got to think of the future before you say yes. I feel like you're going to say yes, but you got to think of the future, okay? So that's that. Okay, let's let's pick up more intuitive message for Sagittarius. See tower card, told you. Destructor. Ace of Swords. This is solid. Whoever this person is, there is going to be an offer next week. If it's not offer coming from a romantic relationship, it is an offer um, at work. It's going to change the way you work. The, there is a big change. Like, I would, I would say you did not see this coming. Yeah, oh my God, you've got all of the aces. Oh my God, Sagittarius. What's going on in your life? Let me just open this. Be prepared next week. The energy is brewing. You know, it's like it's starting to boil this weekend. But pretty much there is something that will happen. At which you will love it. You will love it. You will fall in love with this one. But there's a lot of change. If you say yes to this, this is a big change. If you commit to this. There is a big change coming your way. You did not see this coming. You never expected it will come soon. You have a feeling that it could happen, but not this soon. Triple aces. Solid new relationship or new love or reawakened love or opportunity. Like, it's it's big. It's big, Sagittarius. Nine of Swords, yeah. Like, you don't know how to accept it. It's flattering. It's a compliment. It also comes with a lot of responsibility. Oh, okay. Nine of Swords. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you will jump into this responsibility, into this commitment, into this idea. It's hard to say no when you have triple aces, yeah? But you will have a hard, I would say you'll give it a hard, hard thought. Like you'll give it a lot of thinking. But then you're very, very brave. So I wouldn't be surprised if you take a leap of faith in here. Take a risk, take a chance. Because there's a lot. Like in this reading, like this is what you're going, this is what's going to happen. This is what you're going to do and this and this and that. But you cover your face and you say, I want to do it. Okay, let's go. I want to do it. You know, it's, it is very untimely. It's very unexpected. It comes sooner than later. Like, and something tells me that, I mean, you see it coming, but not this soon, you know. Look at that. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful card, you know. It, it will be presented to you. You will overthink. You will think about it thoroughly because this is something you wish, but you never expected it will come so quick. And you will, you're going to take the opportunity. You're going to be proud of yourself because you are so right. Something tells me that before this even happens, you're already prepared. You're prepared, but it's it's just too soon. There's something that you would have to give up when this happens. There's something that you need to rearrange when this situation happens for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It's really a pleasure to having you guys. And um, I will see you soon again. You have a great day. Bye-bye.